And I think um, Trackmania is on a good development, and I hope that the price pool for all the competitions, also the interest in also smaller competitions, will rise a bit more. Yeah, I hope so too, because Trackmania really deserves it. And in comparison, of course, 15,000 euro is a lot, but in comparison to other games, World Cups, that's still not a lot. So I re there definitely is room for improvement, and I really hope that Trackmania uh, will get bigger and bigger, because it really deserves it. And apparently, we are gonna start actually. Perfect timing. <laughs> so, okay. we're gonna start with the match. So, let's see what maps we will get today. Or in this last match, we're gonna see five. No, we're gonna see six maps actually. So, yep. let's see which ones we're gonna have. Let's see if we maybe have some new maps that we haven't seen in our semi final at least. And apparently, we're actually gonna start on Paradise here. Paradise will be the first map. So, there is the map preview. And also, welcome to all of you guys to the Trackmania World Cup Grand Final. That sounds already stoked, but I'm stoked and very, very looking forward to this match here. It is, um, yeah, four top tier players batting it out for a cash price of 15,000 euro. That is a lot of money. And of course, I'm joined in by Ganadi. I'm Lucas Turbo. And yeah, we are playing in cup mode. Um, so cup mode works like that. You collect points and uh, for your respective positions you're gonna see that 0.1 and 140 and if you win around and if you surpass that point limit you have to win one more round in order to make it and you replay out play it out from p1 2 and 3. so i'm gonna take over the first round here and let's just go ahead actually Afi with a fast start and we see Cal jr in last position so those are the players in the playing field pack Cal jr who got both first in their semi-finals and Afi and Kappa who got second but still played outstandingly well there and right now they're showing what they're having in their backpack and they are leading the round here and it is Pack closing in but actually Cal Jr. on last place here so not the best performance from Cal Jr. but maybe he can do something in the ending he's point two away though but of course very important here to hold your gear to make that happen Cal Jr. does it good Kappa not with the best line and so also didn't uh, get it Afi so Afi also not with the best line it's Pack leading the round and also Cal Jr. goes for the attack but still Afi with a tiny tad more speed actually no so it's Afi versus Cal Jr. for the second place and Afi with a good identity here goes into the lead but so close oh between all god. the players here also Kappa's in the mix Kappa with a snipe Whoa, Afi oh my god. going out here in this last part and Afi drops from P2 to P4 but what a Cal Jr. ending was that 14,000th of a second between P2 oh. and P3 man what a round to start it all off with but Pack wins it also, Peck almost crashing the checkpoint between the two identity sections. Absolutely close by him. Very good winning time by him, though. Only 0.4 behind the current world record. So, very good round by Peck. We saw him choking a bit in the in the, in the second semi-final on the identity, but he, it seems like he got himself together. Never mind, we have two crashes at the start. Mm. Kappa doing a 360, what is happening? <laughs> only two people. No, not, not Kappa. It was Afi, actually. And we only have two players surviving. And those are... Kappa and Carl Jr. and those will probably uh, yeah, battle for the victory in this round because the others are quite a bit behind. Pack probably not able to catch up so let's focus on this battle here at the top because here it still is a very close round. Kappa currently like point one ahead and now we're getting to this tricky free will slide where you wanna hold the gear at the exit. Let's see if everybody is getting it. Kappa doing a small slide there to actually get even more speed out of it and he did so indeed so he's now like roughly point three ahead of Carl Jr. Will be hard to catch that up in the identity, except uh, except Kappa jokes. We also see different lines here in the identity, but both are making it. Carl Jr. almost hitting a checkpoint. Kappa going for the low line here, but he is making it. Carl Jr. almost missing the finish, but the round is decided. Not too special of a round. Good time by Kappa though, but we saw quite a lot of mistakes. Is Afi able to finish? Afi? Mod check. <gasps> oh no! no! Afi with a DNF and that is very punishing. Of course, he would have only gotten three points, but three points is three more points than zero points. <laughs> Obviously. So that is very painful for him. He's now sitting at three points only. Oh man, and that is very, very unfortunate. I mean, we have seen it in the last semi final where Scrappy was at 128 points, and three points are a lot. Yeah, three points mm -hmm. are a lot. And right now it's actually Carl Jr. on second position. So uh, will he get himself that first 10 pointer in this one? Or will it be Kapo or Pack again? But yeah, on this map we have seen a lot of mistakes. And also uh, the WR someone has asked is a 107.852 107 from Massa. 
and then the second WR is from Kappa. So Kappa definitely shows us what he is capable of doing here. And right now he finds himself in the battle here for that top position. The pack is point two behind, but can he get himself a good line? Good amount of speed here from back. Look at that! What a close fight between the four players here. Who's gonna get that ten point? That's up for grabs for everyone here. It's Kaljuni in the lead, but pack with a good amount of speed. Kappa with a different line. He has followed Kappa in that ending. Goes actually it almost oh. the lead, but makes that mistake there. So he's out on that one. Can Alfie redeem himself and get himself that second position? Yes, he can. Very important. And a 108.2 from Kaljunia. So a good time. And yeah, it is him getting himself that first uh, first position in this grand final in the Trackmania World Cup. And it's also Afi with a good performance here, going up to nine points. Yes, exactly. Carl Jr. currently in the lead. Afi not looking too well. He didn't really get the best start into the match, but still everything is possible. We also have to find this mode later, so nobody's out yet. It's still, as I said, everything is possible. And we're now heading into the last round of the first map, Paradise, here. Afi getting a really sick start here, actually. He got his no slides threat at the beginning very nicely. Also getting this over here, getting the slide, no no slides or anything. So everybody is surviving. Carl Jr. and Kappa a bit behind. Now also Pack not with the best speed. So only Afi has a good lead at the moment. Very sick start by him. But uh, the most important part parts are coming and at the ending with the identity and the free will slide. So let's see how people will do on this uh, in this in this round. We're now approaching the free will slide. Afi is still in the lead. Who is getting it the best though? Kappa got it really nicely in the previous round as well as Pack, and everybody is getting it in this round as well no gear drops here so everybody is close to each other Carl Jr. Oh, almost clipping very close wow. here and it's gonna depend on the identity everything is still possible literally wow. everybody could win Carl is dead <laughs> Carl is dead who's gonna make it who's gonna win Pack with a risky line and Pack sniping Kappa Pack sniping Kappa in the ending going full risk sick winning time by Afi here point 25 point 4 behind the current world record and Afi is actually catching up a bit. Pack with a very des well deserved second place. And if you now look at the scoreboard, we have it like kind of twisted around. So basically, the first player overall gets last, and the last player overall gets first. So everybody is getting closer to each other. Yeah, six points between the players. And if you deduct the the or like if you include the points that Afi would have gotten, he would have been up to 22 points. So yeah. that would also leave us with four points between the players. So very important, those three points that will be in his mind for the entire match, but hopefully he can go mm. over that. And also we have a new map now. Mm. We have Circles that is coming up. And I think one of the harder maps um, uh, regarding the identity, um, not concerning the difficulty of it, you can survive it, but the jump, this yes. jump, you can really like it's do or die for you. Also the start, but they can see it here is the start section of the map with the full speed part. This tube, this can be uh, really, really difficult to do. And also this free wheel slide. Again, very important to not see as much on the grass as uh, as possible. And then of course the identity where you can either make it or break it. Choose different lines there, but we're gonna see that. So good luck to the players here on Circles. The first time we are seeing this map today. And I'm just gonna follow Afi for the first round here, who is at 19 points. So good catch up from him. But of course, he needs to do more than that. But he's not like slowing down, losing momentum after two top two positions in the last two rounds. It is looking really, really good for the BDS player to get himself that, um, yeah, juicy points on those uh, rounds here. But right now, he has the weakest start. So Carl Jr., Pack, and Kapper are leading. But it is Pack leading here. Also, good line over that part. Accumulates a lot of speed over this part here. Goes into the lead, gets it way, way better than Carl Jr. But look at that Kappa with a great line and is now fighting it with the pack for 10 points here now important to wiggle on this part to accumulate as much speed as possible and it is pack um yeah battling out with all the players Carl Jr. goes into the second position but here again Whoa. very important to get it really good but look at the line from pack there oh, yeah, into the lead he goes there very very close between all the three players in the top three kappa Carl Jr. or pack who's gonna get it the three world champion are bat champions are battling it out here in the grand final pack with a good job kappa with more speed who's gonna get it pack has it though but kappa with more speed can he snipe it and also Carl Jr. is coming oh out of the way gonna God. get it and it's actually pack falling down to third position what a round was that Ganadi? that was an absolutely insane round also the times three people doing a 0.6 slow that is absolutely incredible the current WR is 0.37 though but holy shit, those times are absolutely insane. The battle was absolutely insane. It was really sad to see that Peg lost it in the ending. It was because he jumped uh, 
Yeah, he jumped earlier down at the very last identity jump, so he had a bit less speed than the others, and unfortunately, that is what lost him the round. But holy moly, what a first round. Let's see if the second one is gonna get equally close here. Pack not with the best start, I think he got a small gear down on the crest, so he lost, like, almost point one. but... He also had it in the previous round, I think, so he definitely is able to catch up. Look at the slide by Pack, but he's jumping very far down here. That is not the best line. He's losing a bit. Let's see uh, Let's see his exit speed out of the ice, because that is very important. Not looking too well for Pack in this round. So he kind of needs a bit of a miracle in order to catch up, because... Yeah, on the identity, you cannot risk that much. Of course you can, but you won't be able to catch up like 0.4 of a second to the others. So Pack most likely out of this round. So let's maybe focus on the top three here, Carl Jr. getting it really nicely. But what is that speed by the others? Carl Jr. getting overtaken. And they are literally within each other. They were within less than one hundredth of a second. So everything could still happen here. Carl Jr. not with the best speed. Carl Jr. going for a very high jump, but having more exit speed, jumping very smoothly. Look at the exit speed by Carl here, and he might be able to snipe them all. Afi versus Carl, who's gonna make it? It is Carl! Carl with the most exit speed out of the jump. It paid off that he jumped higher. And what a battle again. Pack in the meantime, sadly, only at the last place at the moment. And Carl Jr. now at 45 points, actually getting a bit away from the others. Yeah, Carl Jr. really getting that tiny tad of more speed in this ending section and with that getting himself that second first place in a row so after not winning the first two rounds in this uh trickmania um world cup he now finds himself in the lead with uh, two second positions one last and then also we have uh, two and uh, no, all three first places so you can see the first place is really worth a lot of points it is double the amount of points that he has accumulated in the other three rounds where he didn't get first position, even though he got second twice. So good stuff here from Carl Jr. And right now he's in the lead again. Pack is in second. So definitely also not the worst performance, but of course the point of is 140. So nothing is really set in stone. But right now it's looking really, really good for Carl Jr. to even extend his lead threes in the zone. And uh, looking very, very good here. Great line, but also Pack had it really well. So he comes a bit closer there. Look at the speed from Pack. So Carl Jr. is struggling a little bit, but of course the identity from Carl Jr. looked super well. But also Pack can do it. Not the best amount of uh, minimization of airtime from Pack there. So he's not coming dangerously closer towards Carl Jr. Maybe he can have more speed in this ending, but no, that is not the case. And Carl Jr. on a good time here. What time will that be from Carl Jr.? 11.49. Oh that is point 12 away from the WR on circles from Soldier. So what a time from Cole Jr. And he's extends his lead. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, is the best of all time. It's Cole Jr. extending his lead here to 18 points. Carl Jr. actually with the personal best in this round. So absolutely insane effort by him, at least uh, regarding the official leaderboard here on Trackmania. I oh, maybe he has a better time offline. But anyway, that was an absolutely insane time. And... Carl Jr. is really popping, popping off. He's always doing good, of course, but he's doing really well in this grand final. Pack clipping! Oh my god. Pack is out of this round already. Not the best start to him. So let's focus on the other three players here because they are still in a very close fight. Carl Jr. once again in first place, slowly getting boring here. <laughs> but mm -hmm. getting chased by Afi, ah, not anymore, but by Kappa. Actually, Pack overtaking Afi, ah, interesting. Good for him, of course. That Afi is still, uh, Kappa is still somewhat close to Carl. It is point two, so yeah, we'll see. Maybe if Kappa has the sickest ending EUW, he might be able to catch up. But it looks like it's going to be another victory for Carl Jr. And this man is absolutely on fire once again. Oh, Carl, uh, Kappa clipping. He's getting the penalty, so Carl can pretty much save. And we have kind of a yeah pre-decided round. Nothing can really happen here unless somebody chokes, of course. But everybody is making it. Carl first, Kappa second, Pack in third place, and Afi in last position. And Carl now actually at 65 points, while the second place is only at <laughs> 41. This guy, man, holy. Yeah, so Carl Jr. making the perfect map here, winning four out of four rounds. So what a performance. He is 24 points ahead, so maybe this map has suited him very well. And of course, everything can change on the next map. Everything can change here. And let's take a look what map that will be. Maybe one of the two new maps, maybe Turbo Stairs or Zigzag. I have that in the feelings. Or maybe again, Slalom. It and it is Semiramis. Okay, there we go. Semiramis is map number three. Yeah, interesting. We already saw this map on the semi-final. 
and Pack was doing well here. But so was Kappa, so everything could happen here. I think also Carl Jr. is very strong on this map, if I remember correctly from previous week. So we're gonna have another close map here, of course. Everybody is prepared on every map, so on every map we're gonna have sick fights. The current world record here is uh, a 110.13, currently held by Massa. We all have Kappa in third place, Pack in fourth place, Carl Jr. in sixth place, so the top four players here are in the top six on this track, so we can expect some very sick fights here. Okay, I'm just uh, taking this round over, and I mean, if it's semi Ramus in the semi final, is it just Ramus in the final or Grand Ramus? Okay, I'm just <laughs> stopping the jokes here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that, guys. I just had to do one haha -ha joke here. <laughs> um, but let's go into the first round. It's round number nine that is coming up, and it's called Junior with a wicked amount of points here 65 points that is um that is great for him but right now it's a uh, pack leading the round he has also closed it out here in um the uh semi-final if you guys uh, recall it correctly and let's just go ahead into the fight here into the identity Calgino with a great amount of speed over this part but pack with a more or direct line over this part so he finds himself on a P number one, but it's not over till it's over. The identity is still there. You want to hold your gear here, but mm. actually, Kaljina didn't do it. So, Kaljina lost a lot of speed here. Look at that. Oh, getting the also, for the identity, he didn't get it too well. So, Peck is leading. Can Peck just dethrone Kaljina here and eventually win a round? And yes, this will be the case. Pack wins it. What time will that be? Will it be a 110 mid or maybe a 110 low? It will be a 110.34. What a time from Pack claiming the first 10 pointer on Sammy Ramis. Yeah, what a sick time by Pack. Only point two behind the current world record held by Massa. So that the, the level on this uh, in this match here is insane. Like those times are holy moly. They are so fast. And good thing by Pack that he managed to win a round. Getting a bit closer to Carl Jr. He is still 20 points behind, but he still has every chance to catch up. And let's hope the second round is gonna be successful for him again. So let's go into it. We have to drop into the dirt here. Everybody is getting that. Now the grass section with the possible gear down. But players know how to avoid it, so... Nobody is losing a big amount of time here, but Kappa actually with gear down. And he is losing indeed a lot of points, uh, not points, time. So he is almost out of this round already with a deficit of 0.4. But top 3 is still close. Actually, not anymore, because Afi is also touching. And now it's the fight between Carl Jr. and Pack. Pack currently in the lead, roughly 0.2 ahead of Carl Jr, but Carl Jr can of course still catch up. So let's see what's gonna happen. Also, Kappa not too far away in theory, so he still is uh, chasing them. But looking good here, this time Carl Jr keeping the gears, but so does Pack, so he's not catching up. And now the jumps. Pack usually getting them really smoothly, so let's see if he can wow. do it as well here. He's getting them super nicely, early landing here, entry into the dirt uh, grass section. Carl Jr. getting a bit closer, but it is Pack winning once again another round, and he gets four points closer to Carl Jr. Once again, a point 48 as well, a really sick time, only point 35 behind the current world record. And what a sick race here. Afi barely able to finish, and uh, yeah, now Pack going up to 61 points, slowly getting away from Kappa and Afi actually, and getting closer to Carl Jr. Yeah, so Afi and Kappa struggling a little bit to match the pace from Pack and Carl Jr. And also Pack is coming closer, as you said here. Um, only 16 points between them, but still a lot of points. I mean, if Carl just gets uh, second position all the time or just do, does his consistency game and just drives fast times, it will be hard for Pack to just match the points. But of course, it's not over here. It is only Carl Jr. who is, uh, yeah, a little bit more than halfway through here. Point of us 140. And right now, Pack has a god tier start again. A great approach over this part. Accumulates a lot of speed and extends his lead. But Carl Jr. comes closer. Look at the Whoa. line from Kappa there. What a great apex he had chosen there. But so risky that was. That was super, super risky from the McLaren <laughs> Shadow player. Carl Jr. had to release though. So he is all on this battle for first position. But it's right now Kappa leading. And he doesn't want to fall down yet. <gasps> he wants to get it, but make <laughs> Kappa that wants to fall there. down. <laughs> oh no, uh. he wants to fall down so the gas is cursed yet again is kicking in and it's again Carl Jr. versus Pack on that third identity on Sammy Ramis. There we go. Pack jumping so close there. Good release timing. Carl Jr. with that inside line again but Pack has it yet again here. So great job winning the third round in a row and he is just making it here and coming closer to Carl Jr. who is also getting himself a good position but only second though. 
Yeah, what a performance by Peck here, winning the third round in a row, the, uh, in a row, the only one that is able to contest Carl Jr. here. I think Carl Jr. with the, uh, with the third, second place in a row. And Peck is getting closer to Carl Jr. It's only 12 points anymore. In the meantime, Kappa and Afi are more than 20 points behind. So it looks like the fight is gonna be between Carl Jr. and Peck mainly. So let's see if we're gonna have the usual top two again in the last round on Samiram is here. Everybody has survived the start. Let's see what about uh, what's gonna happen in this gear down section. Pack getting it really well. Also in this slide you don't wanna drop your gear, otherwise you're gonna lose like almost 0.4. But Pack is getting it really nicely. I think Kappa actually got the gear down, so he is behind. And in the lead we have still Pack. Afi currently chasing him. Carl Jr. also a bit behind actually, not having the best speed here. So maybe Afi is now able to contest Pack on this track. But what is this slide by Carl Jr. instantly getting closer to both of them, having the godlike Carl Jr. line. And Carl Jr. now only 0.1 behind Pack, also having better entry into this. Oh, almost clipping inside. Both keeping the gear, also Afi still close, Kappa quite a bit behind. And it's gonna depend on the identity again. Is Pack gonna get that godlike identity once again? And is he gonna uh, is he gonna be able to snipe Carl Jr.? It does look like Afi is getting it really well, but Kappa, uh, Pack has more exit speed and Pack will win all rounds on this track. Holy moly, what a performance by him on this certain track. Now up to 81 points, while Carl Jr. is at 87, so it is getting closer and closer. Yeah, what a great round here. Also from Afi, not really giving up and shows us that he is not out on this match, but only six points in this round. What can you do against this pack here <laughs> on this map? That was a very, very great performance on Sammy Ramis from pack. Now we're going to go on to map number four, which will be um, yeah, also a very it decisive map, Turbo of stairs. course, as every map. And it's Turbo Stairs. So uh, Turbo is in this uh, map name. <laughs> uh, so, of course, a good name, a good map. But <laughs> no, this map is really, really difficult um, because it's a slow map. We've seen different lines from Pack here on this one. And um, yeah, the identity, um, we have seen everyone uh, doing Neo Slide in the semi-final. So, um, yeah, I, I, I see Chad really likes my jokes, huh? <laughs> So oh, let's man. see if uh, all people in this semi-final, uh, in this grand final will also go for the new slides. It is a lot faster, but of course also a lot more difficult. So I haven't seen if Carl Jr. or uh, Afi are going for it, but we will find out very soon. And uh, yeah, but Pack was doing well here in the semi-final as well. So I hope he will be able to continue his streak here, because the battle between him and Carl Jr. is getting closer and closer, while the others are like roughly 30 points behind. So we have the yeah, first we round here. Oh. Okay, I, <laughs> yeah, I, take I'm it, just take going. it back. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, we were expecting that, that uh, both players were, like, batting it out to Kappa and Afi and then also Pack and uh, Carl Jr. And that's exactly the case. But, of course, Pack still has to win plenty of rounds in order to um, just uh, defeat that Carl Jr. He's still se six points behind. But look at that here from Kappa. Kappa leading the round and very close for that second position. Afi also with a good line, but didn't get the best uh, approach over this part. You actually want to release a little bit before that. You could have seen it, of uh, course, where it delayed, slowing down. But it's Pack in second. Carl Jr. actually on last, so I'm going to take over his POV in this round. Will he claim himself uh, more than three points in this round? It's actually um, um, Afi falling behind. Good identity from Pack onto the lead. No. He goes, clips oh. a little bit. Who's going to get? that first position is Pack or Kappa. No. It is Pack with a mistake and Kappa gets it. So Kappa is not dead and a sign of life for him at 107.94. What a great time from uh, Kappa here. I think WR is a 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.8 71, if I recall correctly. 0.71 is WR. So a 1.7 in the match here is a very strong time. So good job by Kappa here. But he also, he already was doing well in the semi-final here. So he is continuing. Back sadly clipped in the identity, he was battling with him, so let's hope he can survive it in this round, because he definitely has the pace to make it. So let's go into the second round of this trick. Everybody is surviving the start, nothing too crazy over here. Now the tight slide to the right, Pack getting it really well actually. Entering to the dirt also works fine. Nobody is behind yet, everybody is still... Never mind, Afi had to respawn apparently. <laughs> so he's out of this round. So the battle is gonna be between Pack, Carl Jr. and Kappa over here. Peck currently still in the lead, getting chased by Carl Jr. and Peck, so it's still, uh, by Peck, 
<laughs> Carl Jr. and Kappa, of course. Pack is in the lead. So very close round here. They are only 0.1 apart from each other. And we are now slowly approaching the identity, which is most likely gonna decide the round again. Pack got it really well last time until he clipped. So let's hope he won't clip this time and then he will have an easy victory. Oh, he is clipping a bit, but not too bad. Ah, clipping again, oh. not too bad. Don't clip the last one. Ah, oh. ah. But he's getting first, oh. I think he has more speed. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. He did. What a fight, holy moly. Absolutely scary identity by Pack, but he somehow didn't get a single penalty, although he clipped every single step. But it was enough. 108.1, definitely a strong time. 0.4 behind the world record. Yeah, that is a good time. And also with that clip, he got himself a good angle over this part. So Pack only two points away from Cole Jr. And could you believe it? We have a battle, as you were saying. It is uh, looking bad on <laughs> circles. <laughs> nice. Um. <laughs> Now Peck is making that mistake. Come on! I just wanted to praise him and now he's... Oh, man. Okay, Cast's Curse is always is kicking in. There's no cast uh, from me or from Ganadi without a Cast's Curse. So Peck down to last position, but maybe he can snipe the position. Or maybe it will be Kapo or Afi taking this round ahead of um, Carl Jr. So this will also come in very, very good for Peck. That uh, Carl Jr. is not running away with the points. So right now it's looking good for Kappa here. Great releasing uh, from Afi. So he also comes dangerously close to only one car length between him and Kaljinia. But still there's the identity that he has to cope. And uh, yeah, Kappa is leading with a 0.2 gap. But of course he has Kaljinia behind him. So you don't want to slow down. Great slide from Kappa. Ooh. Clips it though. Kaljinia not doing it too well. So Afi up into that second position. Great identity from the BDS player. And actually it is Kaljinia only getting third place here. So great for Pack actually that he has made or like th that the others have also played very well here. Not the fastest time that we have seen. No sub 108, but still enough to win Kappa in first, Afi on second. And then we have Carl Jr. and Pack on third and fourth. Yeah, Kappa with his second victory on this map already. So he is slowly getting closer to Pack and Carl Jr. He is still like roughly 30 points away. And but yeah, currently not looking too good for Afi actually. He is quite a bit behind with 63 points at the moment. So let's see uh, yeah, how he will continue. He is not having the best start here in the meantime, but it's still very close. Only point one behind. Pack in the meantime got it really nicely. And he is currently in the lead. Entry into the dirt also works perfectly fine. Now this tight section here, nobody hitting anything. Afi in the meantime, again a bit further behind, but it's still very close here. Pack still in the lead. He is doing, he is pretty much always first at this point of the map, so he is he really figured out the start here. Also a good dirt section here. Kappa actually mm. getting it even better. He has a lot of exit speed. In the meantime, Carl Jr. actually... Uh, yeah, uh, what, did ha what happened to him? I think he made a small mistake. So he is yeah, in this late. entry. Yeah. So he is maybe out of this round. Carl uh, Pack is leading. Let's see the identity. Getting the first Neo Slide, not clipping. Not getting the ah. second Neo Slide, and that hurts a lot. Can he still get second though? No! Wait! Wait what is that? What happened? Oh, yeah? Kappa! Oh, Carl Jr. And Carl effect. Jr. It's the Carl oh, Jr. effect. What? Everybody oh. choking for Carl Jr. How is that possible? 108.5 winning time. Oh my god, what happened there? Everybody failed. It's the Carl Jr. effect. Yeah. Like, chip it and clip it. <laughs> oh, really? Moly. You can just upload that so to YouTube. I had a cast where Carl Jr. was in last, or like in third, and then both players in the in the top two made mistakes, like also in the grand final of the Solary Cup. I saw it's that. Always, it's always like that. But of course, Carl Jr. also played the identity very consistent. So if the players make mistakes, it will inevitably going to happen that they are falling behind. So the next map will be Picycle. Yes, Picycle. Uh, we already saw it in the semi-final, of course. Um, as I said earlier, um, not the most difficult track, especially because the identity is relatively easy. We won't see a lot of, like, uh, I don't know, recoveries on the identity where people are going to catch up, like, 0.4, 0.5 of a second. That is not going to happen here, but therefore the rest of the map is going to be very decisive, especially the start and the middle section. We also have quite a few blind jumps here, so not an easy track overall, but I still think we're going to see some very close rounds here. I think so as well. Um, I mean, with Carl Jr., I'm seeing him for the first time in ages on this map. But he's leading, and with his lead, he can claim himself, find this mode, and also close it out on Picycle if he wins all the remaining four rounds. Uh, Pack also can get himself up into the finest mode if he wins four rounds in a row as well, but he cannot win it. Then we have Afi with 69 points. 
nice. <laughs> and Kappa with 83 points on uh, third position. And also he finds himself on third in this round. It is called Junior has fallen behind a bit here. Um, uh, not the best amount of speed accumulated. And right now he's 0.17 away. But of course that's still nothing for him. He can still make it. Not the best entry into the dirt. So Kappa and also Pack had a lot more speed. But actually he traveled less distance. So actually it's uh, he's catching up a little bit. So now the first blind jump, you don't want to hit the tree and also you don't want to hit the checkpoint. So it is still a pack leading the round. Carl Jr. is closing in towards Kappa and he goes into the lead. What a great line from Carl Jr. there as well. Now we see the camera here. The different approaches, the different approach from Carl Jr. goes from right to left and pack from left to right. But pack's still leading the round. He's going to get that first position. Oh Actually, is he going to get it? Yes, but also this Kappa who has made a mistake has touched the grass and actually also gets himself that third position because Afi also has made a mistake. Yes, Afi actually making quite a lot of mistakes here, so he maybe is a bit out of focus. So not looking too well for him. Let's hope he can refocus so that we will have a b few more fights. <laughs> because, of course, it still matters. Like, it, it makes a big difference if you get uh, fourth or third in the World Cup. It's a difference of 1,000 euro in the prize pool. So let's hope he can refocus a bit. But yeah, uh, the fight between Carl Jr. and Pack is on it again. They are only five points apart from each other. Um, they both could still make it, it's absolutely insane. Very important victory for Pack in the previous round, so let's hope he can continue in this round. The start is looking promising, he is currently in first place. But, uh, oh, did somebody touch? No, nobody's no. touching, but it was very close with somebody. And Pack still very dominant here on this track called Junior. Once again a bit behind, but he was catching up a lot in this section that is coming up here in the previous round. So let's see if he can do it again. Doesn't look like this time. He is going for a very risky jump, almost hitting the tree. Very close here. Pack still in the lead. Carl Jr. getting close to Kappa, though. So let's see. Let's hope Pack can stay in the lead. He is almost 0.2 ahead. Not getting the best slide here, so now it's only 0.1. But he still has this lead. And I, as I said, in this identity, you cannot really catch up that much time. So if Pack makes it properly, he will win another round. Kappa going for more speed. Who's gonna take it in the ending? It is gonna be Pack. Kappa. Still in second place, Carl Jr. in third place, and Afi once again with a last place. Good performance by Kappa here on this track, though. He sadly choked the previous round, but now he got his second place, and Carl Jr. only in third, which is, of course, good for Peck, because now Peck is actually in the lead. He is one point ahead of Carl Jr. Peck is uh, leading yeah. the race, 122 points. Only 18 points away from finals mode. Very important round now that Pack has to win both of the rounds on a bicycle. But Pack looks super strong here. 109.8, which is a 0.2 away from the WR, which is occupied by Kappa. But look at the start from Carl Jr. He's just saying or thinking to himself, no, you, I want to get finalists before you, Pack. But uh, it's nothing over till it's over, of course. There's still the identity left, but Carl Jr. and Kappa with ridiculously fast starts. Kappa closing in, though, and can get himself some points here in this round. But also, Pack is not so far away. Gets himself a good amount of speed. Now the blind jump here. Don't want to no! hit the <laughs> tree, but he does it. Boom. He hits the tree, and Pack is out on that round here. So he lost the momentum after going into the lead here by one point. It is Carl Jr. who could elevate himself up to the lead by six points again. But there's also Kappa who can deny some points to Carl Jr. here. Very important for him to win this round. But it doesn't seem to be enough. He has a little bit more speed though. But it doesn't seem to be enough. And Carl Jr. with another sub 1 minute 10 time. And going up to 131 points. So he's really closing in and coming closer to the finals mode. Yeah, what a time by Carl Jr. Oh, by the way. WR here is a point fifty nine by Kappa actually. But yeah, driving a sub 110 here is very fast for the match. So good job by him here. Pack sadly with the mistake. So he is losing a bit of ground to Carl Jr. But they are still, they are only six points apart. So, but yeah, we're actually getting close to finalist mode, as you just said, I think. <laughs> so uh, yeah, both people, no, actually only Carl Jr. If he wins this round, he could get finalist mode. Pack at least needs two more rounds with one first place and one second place at least. So Carl Jr. has the upper hand at the moment, but Pack is still chasing him. And it's the same for this round actually, only Kappa a bit behind, but the other three are super close to each other. They have equal speed, equal lines here, nobody's touching anything. Good entry into the dirt, we see some different lines, actually Carl Jr. with the best one, almost gaining 0.1 here. In the meantime, Afi dropping a bit behind, but everybody with good speed here. Let's hope Pack will not hit the tree this time. 
He will Ooh. not. Everybody is surviving it as far as I can see, so we still have a very close fight here. Carl Jr. overtaking Peck here. It's very close. Carl Jr. with more speed as well as Afi and Kappa. And they are so close to each other. Only 1.1 <laughs> 1. 1 apart from each other. Who is getting the identity the best? I told you, you cannot ca catch up that much. So it's gonna depend on the last slide. Will we have a miracle? It doesn't look like Peck will actually get last oh. place. And Carl Jr. in first and finest. And that is not good for Peck. What a close round here. We have... First and last place are only less than a tenth apart from each other. Holy moly, what a round. Imagine getting last with a 110.1. <laughs> yeah, dude. Feels bad, man. Bruh. Mm. Oh, man. That is absolutely crazy. And that was actually the worst possible round where this could have happened because now Peg is up to 128 points. And we may be going to go to the next map or maybe last map for Carl Jr. Or maybe even for Peg. We don't know. It is actually a good one. It is Slalom. And this map is very good for Pack, actually. It's a good map. Now it's the decider between Pack and Carl Jr. Carl Jr. is in finalist. We have, um, yeah, Pack with a good time. I can't see Carl Jr. on P number 10. But of course, um, he is able to improve here a lot. Or he can just do PB or just drive his time consistently. And we also don't know what time he has here offline. True. Current WR is a 104.2 actually held by Kappa, so very interesting. Let's see how Kappa will perform here. And yeah, in the semi-final two, where we already spectated Pack, he was doing very well here. And let's hope he can continue his streak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we go into the first round and I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, so first finds attempt for Carl Jr. Can the Solary uh, player make it? Can he win the fourth? Trackmania World Cup after winning 2013, 14, and no, 14, no, 13, 14, and 15. Yes. Can he win now as well? Or was it 16? No, 16 was Pack. Yeah, 16 was Pack, exactly. So, can he do it or will he get denied? Right now, he has the worst start. And um, yeah, actually comes back strong here with a great line. So, Carl Jr. is closing in here, but also Pack is there to deny him. It's so close between the players. Bear in mind, it's yeah. between no! Pack and Carl Jr., but Pack with the mistake on the uphill. So, it's all in the ending here. Can Carl Jr. get himself that victory? Will he be the new Trackmania World Champion or not? It is Kappa with a lot of speed here. Also, Afi doing it really well. Carl Jr., only one more identity to go, but it's oh. also Kappa with good amount of speed can Afi deny him it's looking good for Afi will he have more speed it is so no, close but it's it Cole Jr. has it and Cole Jr. is the world champion of 2021 using his first finals attempt GG Cole Jr. redeems himself yet again once again, Carl Jr. winning the fourth World Cup in his career already. He is the new world champ. Kappa is n was not able to redeem. And also Pack sadly with the mistake on the uphill. He had a lot of speed, but sadly touched it. And the others were not able to contest him. The big GG to Carl Jr. So let's hope now that Pack gets a second place. He is looking good with 131 points. He needs nine more points for finals mode. So if he wins this round, he could already close it out in the next round. So let's hope he will do so. He is theoretically stronger than the others on this track, I would say, at least. But yeah, Kappa showed that he can be very fast here as well. So does Afi, so uh, yeah, it's still not decided yet, but Pack is in a good situation. And yeah, he also is in a good situation in this actual round here. Let's see if he makes the uphill this time. Yes, he will. Getting good speed here. Afi is still pretty close though. Oh, Afi has lived off a bit, so he's a bit behind. Now Pack with a lead of roughly 0.1. But the others are still close. Peck needs to survive it, otherwise he's not gonna get first and not find this mode. Afi going very high up. Peck got it quite nicely, but Kappa! Kappa got it super what? well and Kappa is gonna win the round. Where did he come from? I have not seen that. Very sick time here. Only 0.3 behind the WR, but what a race by Kappa. Now Peck at 160, uh, 137 points, so he only needs to finish the next round to get finalist. Yeah, but again, a very close round between the players. And just think about that. There were so many close calls. If you think about Turbo Stairs, where Carl Jr. just won that round. Or just like the other rounds where Carl Jr. got first in this very, very close round where it was 0.1 on um, on uh, Paradise. You know, all those things that add up and Carl Jr. eventually is winning. But of course, this should not be in your head as a player. Pack 
is just ha just has to finish and he could claim himself that second position Ooh. the vice champion he crashed though but of course he will still take this um, finest attempt into the next round uh, unless he doesn't finish but i doubt that this will happen so a lot of mistakes here from pack on this map two mistakes already and um, yeah, Afi and Kappa are leading the round. Afi, of course, only at 95 points thus far and is 22 points behind Kappa. So a 10-pointer would be really important for him. So let's take a look here. Afi does yeah. his identity really good and also Kappa really hard because you have to break before uh, because the ice is just very slippery and Afi takes it here. Also a good time here, a 104.58 and it is Pack and finalist. So good luck to him. First finest attempt for our M&M player. Exactly. Also good that Afi actually won the round because uh, Kappa is currently the main opponent for Pack. So it is a bit better if Kappa gets less points than Afi. So good for Pack. And he now is finals as you just said. So let's hope he can pull a car junior and close it out in the very first round. We will see. The others are definitely good contenders on this track. So Pack really needs a good round here. So let's hope he will do so. Start is looking fine. No crashes so far. Let's hope Pack will survive the entry into the dirt this time. Hopefully not clipping the ramp. But I don't think he will. He is gonna make it. Yes. Also dropping the gear, which you actually wanna do at this spot. But he's battling with Afi. Kappa is a bit behind. Point one though. But Afi is having a good round as well. But yeah, it doesn't matter if Pack gets second or third, he needs to get first place. The rest doesn't matter. Oh, Afi getting airtime and Afi is dead. Afi is behind and Kappa point 25 behind. Can Pack close it out? He needs to survive the identity, of course, but he is having a bit of a bit of space left. Oh, Kappa almost clipping. And what? Pack getting it well. Pack, Kappa getting it even better, but Pack is gonna get second place. He is the vice champion for the Trackmania World Cup of 2021 and he's gonna get... Uh, 4,000 euro <laughs> from the prize pool. Sick job by Carl, uh, by Peck. Ah, dude, I cannot talk anymore. <laughs> also also uh, from Carl Jr., of course. Yeah, also, uh, quick to mention, very sick time here. Like, only 0.25 behind world record. Yeah, so Peck has it here. So the two favorites of this match have redeemed themselves on the top two here. So great performance from Peck. And I think at the end of the day, it could have been a bit closer between them. But Carl Jr. had such a good start onto the match, especially on the second map that we have seen, which was um, which was uh, Circles. Carl Jr. played absolutely outstandingly there. And then there were just some small mistakes from Pack that he didn't reach finals just yet. And now we have the first map again, and it will be between Afi and Kappa. This could be the last map, but if Afi denies Kappa, then we can always or we can also see. Um, a different map. So it's for the second place, 2,000 euros in the cash price. So good luck to the players. And um, yeah, I mean, expected results a little bit boring, of course, to not see a surprise. <laughs> but I mean, both of them played super well, right? Yes, they both deserved it for sure. And yeah, we're now back at Paradise, actually. Are you going to do yeah, it? Take or? it. Oh, all right. I'll take it over. <laughs> all right, so we have the, yeah, our, maybe the last round, uh, the last map already that we're going to see. It depends on what Kappa does, most likely. <laughs> but uh, we will see. Actually, Afi with an absolutely insane start. Holy moly. He literally gained 0.2 to Kappa in the very first corner. That is something that only Afi can do on dirt. So very sick start. And Kappa really needs to <laughs> needs to YOLO now a bit to catch up. Because that start by Afi was absolutely insane. So let's see if he can keep the lead or if Kappa is going to be able to catch up. Kappa going very far outside here. But having a bit more speed and he is actually catching up a bit. I think Kappa got a small gear on but nothing too wild here. He is point 0.1 behind and we're now approaching the tight slide. Kappa is arguably the better tech player here. So uh, I guess he's gonna get it good. And he is indeed, wow. he's actually overtaking Afi. And look at that speed. Super good line by him and they are now almost equal with each other. So let's see what's gonna happen on the, on the identity. The identity is gonna decide that Afi going for the low entry while Kappa is going for the high one. In the end, Whoa. it's semi-equal. <laughs> And who is gonna take it now? Kappa going lower, but is Kappa gonna have it? <laughs> no, my god! Afi hit the checkpoint with his tail. Oh, and by, uh, the, not the checkpoint, the finish. And by that, he finished a bit later. And now Kappa on 139 points. So he only needs to finish the next round in order to get finals, but optimally, he wants to get first in this round now as well to deny Afi some points. I mean, if you take, if you do quick maths here, the rounds doesn't really matter too much right now. Because even if Kappa got himself uh, first, 
uh, last and Afi second, uh, first. I mean, both would have not like start a new, um, yeah, like a ten point step because that's what matters now. Afi would have been at 129 points after two victories instead of 121, and Kappa would have been finalist anyway. So those rounds don't really matter too much, but of course it's good for the momentum. And yeah, Kappa now with a face step 139 points. And it is Afi leading. But of course, as I said, the rounds doesn't, don't really matter. There will be like equal rounds, even if a player gets Ooh. first or last. But it's Afi actually making that mistake. So he will go up to 121 points. So there will be a maximum of three more rounds after this one. And uh, yeah, it is Kappa taking it here. And he will go <gasps> oh! on to the finest mode. Okay. Nine. Rip. <laughs> but yeah, well, no. great round. Oh, no. <laughs> He's failing again. <laughs> Kappa, you just have to finish. Kappa. No! <laughs> Nein! <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> no! <laughs> Afi, oh. finish! Oh, no. Okay, 117.2. I could also... I could do that time, actually. Yeah. Wait, what is Kappa doing? What is Kappa? Kappa's not able to finish! No! He's not oh able to God, finish! Oh my God, he's not gonna get finals. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> what oh, is no. this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Now it mattered. Now there was some okay. solid Bronx League performance here by both of them. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Oh man. <laughs> like, dude, what was that? Oh my god. And that is now actually very interesting. Ka uh, Afi, uh, Kap. No! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it still is the World Cup, don't joke. Alright, we have another free round, but uh, yeah, looking at the previous round, this round is not free necessarily, so <laughs> we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Dude. So, yeah, <laughs> previous round winning time was a 1. 17 if I remember correctly and the WR yep. is a 1.7 so only 10 seconds behind the world record that is some Can't solid happen. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, let's hope Afi is bringing that round home and if so he is going to be at 135 points and Kappa is going to be finals unless he DNFs again which we don't hope so and then Afi, Afi basically needs to win three more rounds in order to make it this round to be honest doesn't really matter but uh after this round, Afi needs to win two consecutive rounds in order to close it out. So let's see if he will be able to do it. Can he make the finish this time? Yes, he can. So Afi on 135 and Kappa in finalist. Okay, they are not failing. Good. I mean, Kappa <laughs> failed the start, but he's still able to finish. So Kappa in finalist, 135 points. It could all not matter if he takes home... Um, yeah, in just this or the next finals attempt, but of course, next one will be double final situation. But it's also between 1,000 and 2,000 euro on those nine positions. Nine. But Afi makes that oh, mistake there. No. Oh no. Wow. How anticlimactic is that? But let's follow Kappa here. So he still has to survive, and oh. you can really fail the ending. So uh, the pressure is kicking in. Nine! <laughs> Oh no! Nein! You no! Know. <laughs> what is it's going close. on? <laughs> oh, no! Man. It's about if you get 2,000 or 1,000 euro and people yeah. are joking. Oh. It's a lot. But yeah, of course, um, guys, you probably all kept doubling in the chat. But imagine the pressure that is going on right now between <laughs> Cup or like for Kappa and Afi. It is... You cannot imagine what is going on right now between them. But of course, there's still the identity. Can Kappa survive it even though he has made that mistake? Looking good. Good amount of speed for the Czech driver for McLaren Shadow. Looking good as well here as well. Only one more identity to go. Almost hitting that triangle. Let's go into Kappa's POV. Is he surviving the ending? Yes, he is. And Kappa is the is taking the bronze medal here. And 2,000 euro. Afi still with a great performance. But man, what a... What messy, we had so many messy rounds here. In the yeah, ending. the last, the previous three rounds were absolutely keg W. Like, of course, as you said, players played for so long already and the level is absolutely insane. They are nervous, but oh yeah, yeah. Kappa closing it out with 110.2, which is 2.5 seconds behind the world record. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But Kappa getting third place, Afi fourth place. Reminder, Carl Jr. won pack in second place. Uh, yeah, that is it for the Trackmania World Cup of 2021. Still, overall, okay. a pretty cool grand final, I would say. We kind of had like the. We kind of had two 1v1s with uh, Carl versus Peck and Afi versus Kappa. But overall, still a super good match, and the level by the players was still insane.